What up, YouTube? Fierce Leon here, and we're back with some more Nexomon Extinction action. And as you may notice, uh, I'm in the middle of something, and I walked into this little area thinking that I was going to have something to do with a guard, because while I was grinding, I was messing around, and wanted to look at some new options, and then looked at... I remember the chick that we encountered in that uh, ghost town, <laughs> and yeah, I remember that there was like a little girl that was like, oh, blah, blah, you can't force me to do stuff or whatever, and we sent her back to Baroom City. Was well. Well, I, was, I was looking for the guard that asked us to do that mission, and I was like, oh, maybe he's in here. And then walk in, and boom. So here we are. I'm going to do this a little bit, and then I'm going to go back to grinding. So here we are. <clears throat> well, well, Leon. We've been expecting you. The guild has heard of your latest adventure. You survived a dragon attack and then freed a city by defeating a tyrant all on your own, didn't you? This is absolutely not the deed of a mere bronze tamer. Leon, from this day onwards, you shall carry a silver badge with pride. Congratulations. Ha <laughs> ha, and most valiant. Performance, Leon, you are designated, or destined to greatness. I don't remember Bonnie's voice. She's a little more chipper, I think. Whoa, that's two tyrants that you face now. That's amazing. <laughs> Well done, kid. Keep up the good work, and perhaps we will fight side by side one day. Not too shabby, Leo. You were meant for this. Ha ha. Boom. Skeletee, motherfuckers. We got a silver badge. <clears throat> Are you gonna do that every time you get promoted? Uh, yes, Coco. I fucking am. I fucking am. That's all I have to say. <clears throat> I'd like to hear what happened down there, Leon. Would you mind coming with me? Um, yes, I would mind. Um, can we do this debriefing later? I've got shit to do. Fuck! <clears> hmm, <throat> I see. So you met Lydia, renegade of wind and master of the Drake Isles. And she wants to you to meet her dragons. Sure, why not? Go and have fun, Leon. <laughs> Are you insane? That woman has a tyrant and dragons! All the bad things that happen to us are because of the tyrants and dragons! Lydia is our ally, and as I said, dragons do not attack humans. You just happen to be in the way. Twice. She has this weird obsession with hunting evil renegades like Jin or Atlanta. I really like her. Hold on, if Lydia had both a tyrant and dragons, how does she keep them from fighting each other? Jeez, I wasn't expecting a good question from Ross. Just answer me, aren't they like natural enemies? Lydia is a very, very bizarre case. You'll want to ask her yourselves. I guess a trip to the Drake Isles would be a nice break. We might even catch some, some dragons ourselves. It is a wonderful experience that you have earned. Thanks! I was talking to Leon. Oh, shut up, Emily! <laughs> the airship hangar is to the northeast. Have fun, kids. Okay. Oh, shit. Got a water nexo trap, perfect berry, and an ultra elixir. Yeah, we are buying the shit out of some fucking potions, I tell you what, guys. Alright. That's all done. I'm gonna go finish uh, training, and we'll see you back whenever it picks up in just a little bit. Thanks. And just like that, why didn't I expect anything else? Of course, as soon as I walk out of the fucking building, someone's gonna be here to talk to me. Ha 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 ha! Leon, Leon! A silver tamer, and soon, people are starting to talk about you. Edward asked me to hand you this as a congratulatory gift. How about a congratulatory get the fuck out of my face? Cores can be equipped to your Nexomon. They may boost stats or provide other advantages. The, vi the, <coughs> the Vitality Core 2 that, is, that I just gave you can upgrade the maximum health of a Nexomon 
Try it. Huh. We should check out the team menu later on. As if I haven't already checked out the team menu at this point in the fucking game. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Cores are mostly synthesized in labs. Are you curious? If you have some spare time, visit my lab on the western side of the city. I've already seen you there. What are you smoking? Okay, we're gonna walk through the rest of this town and see if anyone else has any other bizarre things that they want to not shut the fuck up about. <clears throat> Um, before we leave for the Drake Isles, it would be nice to check Bonnie's place. Those core things seem useful. Shut up, Coco. I'm trying to just mosey my way through. Um, let's see. The airship hangar is over there. That's how we get to the Drake Isles. Yeah. I've already seen these people. I literally went to the fucking airship hangar. They're like, hey, you want to go to the Drake Isles now? I'm like, uh, no. Ah, don't forget about Bonnie's research lab. Shut the fuck up. It's up to you, though. What should we do? Um, fucking stop talking, for one, and let me just go wherever the fuck I want. Okay. I think now that I can leave town, I'm, I'm still gonna just go. Okay, we're, we're, we good, we good, we good. I'm gonna continue grinding, and I don't, I, I actually don't think we're going to uh, add anybody new to the squad yet. Once I get, you know, Jingwei and everybody up. I'm gonna probably try to get to like level 25 ish. Um, I'm not certain yet. It's gonna be a grind and a half, but I'm gonna try to get everybody up to about 25 ish and then um, finish the encounters that we haven't got yet, which I think we've gotten everything. I do know that actually. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, point it out one more time. Uh, just walk down here. Because there is an area right over here where we fought that lady who fucking absolutely bodied everything that we love. Uh, right down there is a, is a cave, and that will be an encounter. So that's going to be where we pick up when we come back. Ready for that encounter. We'll see you soon. Be right back. What up, YouTube? Fiercely on here, and we're back with some more Nexomon Extinction. And, uh, picking up where we left off, um, there's not gonna be a grinding montage because it took me, like, three or four hours, and trying to condense that would just make it a really long grinding montage that you guys surely don't want to see, so... <clears throat> Plus, I did a couple of side quests and stuff like that in the middle of it, um, mainly to... Try to get ourselves pumped up a little bit and uh, finish off some of the like little extra side stuff that I hadn't finished yet. So, yeah. <clears throat> but anyway, like I said, we're fi we're picking up right where we left off, and I'm just gonna go ahead and go. Let me just double check the audio real quick. Good. I think. Kind of bring this down a notch. Okay. Anyway. <clears throat> Uh, we're gonna go to find the the mineral. I forget what it's called. Like the skills uh, place. Uh, it's not here. It's in this direction, not not in that house. Uh, but yeah. <sighs> Good lord. Oh, I guess I should go over the team a little bit. <clears throat> Gamabuto was the last person I got up. Uh, Jingwei is still level twenty six. That's fine. Um, we, I, I just really wanted to stop grinding. It had, it had taken me so long, but we did end up. That, that, that. We did end up getting some new moves for I think Nyad. Uh, yeah, Rock Knight Burst <clears throat> is a new move. It's 110 power with 95% accuracy, and good God, this thing is fucking ridiculous. I love this move. It's amazing. Same with Winston's name. Mm, excuse me. <clears throat> Electric Force, 110 power, 95% accuracy. That's the most accurate move that we, that I think we've had up to this point. And it has decent speed too. I think they had like 44 speed. That's pretty respectable for how powerful they are. So, I think those are probably going to be our best moves from here on out. I mean, I don't see anything else. Like, but judging by the experiences I've had in this game so far, I don't see anything else uh, being better than that. Sadly. Um, I would be fine with 100, 100, or you know, 105, or 
you know, hell, I'd be fine with 95, 100, but I don't know that that's in the cards. So, <clears throat> let's come on over here and let's talk to, uh, I want to, I want to remember her name, Bonnie. I was going to say, I want to remember her name before I click it. <clears throat> and also kind of remember her voice. Oh, hello there. Have you come to synthesize cores? Let me help you out. All right, let's fire up the synthesizer then. Yeah, see, she doesn't even do anything different or special from the last time we were here because we already have been here. Ugh, that was so annoying, last episode. When they were like constantly like, hey, this is how you do, I'm like, yeah, no shit, I've already done this. Um, I guess it's zero on these. Maybe it's saying that I don't have zero, I have zero because they're all equipped. <clears throat> that would make more sense. But I want to make... Oh, man, I kind of... I kind of wish that you could take um, the weaker cores and break them down or something. Can I do that? Hang on. Let me see if she has any other options. Maybe there's somebody else in here that I could talk to? I wish that you could either fuse the weaker cores into bigger ones or turn smaller cores into shards so I, I really don't want a bunch of like weak ass ones none of these guys seem to be frozen tundra we've already been there oh leon i didn't realize it was you you're the one who freed ignisha from that tyrant huh that's some fine work right there <clears throat> oh yeah you bet your sweet titties it is uh come here to synthesize cores please speak to body in the back see that's the thing I want to break down the shittier, weaker ones. But it doesn't seem like that's an option, so we're just going to have to hold on to those forever? That's lame. I don't want those filling up my inventory and shit. Maybe that's a thing that you get to do later, and you learn later? I don't know. Whatever. I'm going to go ahead and try to use a couple of these cores, or synthesize, I guess, a couple of these cores. Um, I don't know what ones I want to do though. I want to make sure that I get at least one experience three. And then maybe one more of these, uh, uh, the synergy threes. I think that's what, yeah, synergy threes. So I'll do this. And then I want to get at least one attack boost. Um,. Decreases chance of receiving status effects. That's pretty cool. I thought that there were ones that like make you immune to status effects, but like it makes you susceptible or like more likely susceptible to other ones or something like that. I would totally take immunity to frozen. <clears throat> That'd be one I'd be down for. Um, let me see. That's another thing. Why do some of these not take ten of one? Like, this still requires 23, but this one only requires you to have 17, and the, the percentage boost is weaker. This one's 20, so I don't know. Is it more expensive? Oh, wait. It's more expensive the more times you make it? Have I made one of these? Damn. That's 28. That's ridiculous. Um, we're just gonna get <clears throat> a health one and an immunity one, I guess, and then I'm gonna call it there because I don't want to spend all these just in case later we need them for something else. Who knows? <clears throat> but we have encounters to get. We have one encounter in a cave down south uh, that we're gonna grab really fast. <clears throat> Um, and then we have one encounter, or, oh, and then we have uh, a couple of encounters in Drake Isles. Uh, I'm assuming Drake Isles is big enough. Don't we have another encounter on that other island that we visited very early on in the game? Wasn't that area, like, big enough that we could have gotten two separate encounter areas? Maybe I'm thinking of a different thing, but I could have swore that there was another area. Also, I'm going to keep you in the back for now, Jing. I'm gonna give Gamabunta. Gamabunta is like a decent tank for us. I'm gonna make sure that he has like good health. 
He's always had, like, a good amount of health. Um, then I'm gonna have him have the Greed Core and Immunity. That way he can be, like, a tank for us. Oh, by the way, I was fighting <clears throat> things and, like, battling different uh, trainers and stuff, and I found out that one of the trainers I was training against has the fully evolved version of this, and whoo, it looks super badass, and I am excited to get that. Boy, am I excited to get that. It looks fucking amazing. Uh, I'm going to give you boosted experience and both of the destruction cores, and then I guess we'll just leave you with... A, I guess HP boost. HP boost is probably better than just defense boost. I presume. I don't know how much of a difference like HP is versus. See, in Pokemon, I would know because obviously, like defense only helps against physical attacks, but there's not physical special split in this game. Or if there is, I don't know about it. Uh, where are we at? We're at the Outlands. We're not. We're in Perum City, but. Where we want to go is in the outlands. <clears throat> Just run down here real quick. <clears throat> Get this little uh, encounter. Also, I've been trying to get these shards as I go past them, like just instead of like always ignoring them or something, just like grabbing them when I go past. I did go ahead and open this. Basically, nothing happened. Uh, the people who were in here were like, or who were in front of it, I mean, were like, uh, hey, thanks for opening that, now we can get back to work, or something like that, and I was basically scared. Um, it's the only reason why I didn't refilm it, because I had already, in case you haven't noticed by now, oh, ho Hopi, ho Hopi, something like that. Alright, well, uh, I'm not super excited about this thing, but whatever, we might as well catch it. Goes to sleep, cool. Um, I guess we'll feed this thing a... An apple. Yep, sure. Here you go. Boom, apple. And then, Nexo Trap. Boink. Boom. Four seconds to spare. Should be guaranteed. Bam. Alright. We got our little, uh... What if this... Thing is called Outlands Cave Encounter. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> a friendly and warm Nexomon. It is loyal and very protective of those it loves. Um, friendly and very protective. Hmm. Um, <laughs> I know this isn't friendly, but I'm gonna name it Sundere. Or Sunday, I don't know. How are the hell you're supposed to pronounce those um, ere words? I think I think it's ere, like Sundere, Yandere, stuff like that. <clears throat> All right. Oh, well, D Ember. Uh, well, I guess I'm kind of glad we didn't get this because we got our Fire type on deck already. All right. Let's get on up out of here. I'm gonna just hit this, because I can avoid battles, and then I don't actually have to, like, go into the uh, the healing center or whatever the hell it's called in this game. Oh, my. That was the la that, like, dude who looks like Red, that was the last guy I battled right before I went back to town. He was actually, he actually has some pretty dope bonds. Um, how did I not talk to you? Come to my hometown, the Immortal Citadel. Don't be shy. My sisters can brew the highest quality potions in the world. To prove it, I'll let you have some for a super low price just this time. Uh, sure. Oh, whoops. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Thanks for your business, Leon. These potions are going to make you unbeatable. If you want more, you should totally ch come to the Immortal Citadel. My sisters will bring you some. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. Let me double check my potion situation because I bought potions for uh, grinding. And I know I used quite a bit of them. I used a bit of uh, elixirs and stuff too. Let me buy a couple more of these. Yeah, I'll buy a couple of these. Alright, we should be good. 
And <clears throat> I know that revives are normally useless in like Nuzlocks, but because this is a stock lock and I want all of my Nexomon to always get as much experience as I possibly can, even if they fall in battle, as long as they don't like die die, which, oh yeah, by the way, speaking of that, I completely forgot. I went back through the, the VOD and found out Sprout did die. So as you may notice, Sprout was not on the team. Sprout's gone, Sprout's dead. Um, yeah, that was very sad. Um, my girlfriend was also very sad because she, oh my gosh, that was her favorite Nexomon on my team. And she was, oh, she was devastated. I was sad that at the realization, and it obviously helped us finish that battle. And I felt bad about it, but I don't think anything else got any experience because everything else is dead. So that was my real punishment, was I gave a bunch of experience to an Exomon that I can't even use, so fucking hooray. Also, I completely, like, blanked that Gamabunta was alive that entire fight. Like, I kept not going to him. I, I, like, when I was watching it back, I was like, what are you doing? I was just so, so fucking, like, out of it at that point. Like, I was just so mad and so, like, frustrated at, like, the happen, the happenstance that, was going, that I was going through at that point. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? But, so yeah, um, Sprout's dead, Sprout's gone, and hopefully we'll find another cute grass type or something to fill our party with, because we don't have any more plant types outside of Romeo and Stinky Pete, I think. I think it was the only two that we had, and I didn't feel like grinding them up from, I think they were like level 10 at the most, and I was like, holy god, I'm not pulling them out of the box for this. So hopefully we'll be able to find some new members that will fit just as well on the team and fill their spots. <clears throat> Stand back, you bunch of dogs! It's the third time we've had to kick you out from that building. Amale wants a word with you, brat. You are full of dirt! You are hiding something messed up! Um, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! That dude just fucked him up. Hey, come back here! Ugh, he's back on the airship! I'm just gonna have to beat the shit out of this kid. Would you mind looking for and, for and apprehending that boy? You'd be doing us a great service. Where was he trying to break into? An abandoned facility in the Drake Isles. It may have been discontinued, but there's still valuable technology in there. He is incredibly obsessed with the building. Please bring him to us. I guess we can look for him inside the airship. Many thanks, Leon. Don't let that brat fool you. He's up to no good. I get the feeling he's gonna fool us, and we're gonna help him get up to no good. It's just, just a suggestion, or just a suspicion, you know. You never know. Hello, sir. The airship is ready to depart. Are you heading to Drake Isles today? Shall we get going? Go to Drake Isles. Oh, you don't seem to have an airship ticket. Please get one from the counter to your left. Fuck me. Listen here, little bitch. Welcome to the hangar! If you wish to use the airship, you'll need a ticket. It's a one-time purchase. You can travel all you want with just one ticket. <laughs> mm, this is a poor business model. It's a special program just for tamers. Get your ticket now! Alright, cool. Enjoy your trip, Leon! Before these guys go bankrupt... <laughs> I like this guy. I like Coco. Like, Coco can sometimes be annoying. Uh, just in, like, how he, like, calls uh, my character out specifically. And that's obviously a design choice. Um, but, damn, I wish more games had, like, the... Uh, I wish more games had, like, the Mass Effect or, like, the Bioware uh, methodology of, like, letting you choose what you say and those choices of dialogue have um, implications for the rest of the game or like not necessarily rest of the game all the time but like you know the, the, imp the relationships that you have with people and things like that. I wish that more things, I wish that more games implemented that because that is one of the biggest reasons, well not the biggest reason but literally one of the, the one of the major reasons why I love the Mass Effect series so much oh, they're just they're just perfect games like miss me with any of this 
oh, fucking Skyrim's the best game of all time, or, you know, fucking any of that nonsense. Fucking the Mass Effect trilogy, the original trilogy, so, among the best um, pieces of media ever created, period. <clears throat> uh, yeah, we already talked to you. Alright, All right, then, please follow me. Alright, let's go. Let's get it. What the hell? Why is this place banging? For no reason at all. Is this like the SSN? God damn it, just take me where I need to go. Does that mean that we could Because I know that we could have done this earlier. I don't know... I don't actually know... If we could have done this earlier. Wow, this place is nice. I heard that a lot of teamers visit the Drake Isles to capture lesser dragons. Oh, right. That strange kid must be hiding somewhere in here. Hmm, let's look around while the airship is en route. I wonder what would have happened. Maybe it wouldn't have let us go. Because I know it said something about, like, if you want to go, like, be forewarned, it's really hard from here. Like, we could have reached the teleportation stone and just teleported to the next area. And then what would have happened? I, I don't know. Oh, I can see Perum from up here. I can also see the agonizing decay and obliteration that our world is suffering as we scramble for hope in a lost battle. Oh, I can see my house too. <laughs> I, uh, I don't care to talk to most of you right now, mostly because I'm trying to get uh, some actual progress done in today's episode. Nope. Oh, but there's a chest. Hang on. Chests are worth. Chests are worth. Chests are worth. Crappy. Okay, okay. Cute little bunny looking thing. Um, plus, I want to get um, our encounters today. If I can. Maybe we won't get it. Will we? Won't we? Who knows? Also, do you think we're going to get a dragon uh, when we get to the Drake Isles? Let us know in the comments down below. Do you believe we're going to manage to get a dragon? <clears throat> Found a potion. Alright. Oh, wait. There's the kid. <clears throat> I forget this guy's voice already. <laughs> <clears throat> it's like, you! You've come to take me back, haven't you? <clears throat> um, what's your obsession with that old place? You cannot fool me. The guild did something to upset the dragons. The place was abandoned because the dragons kept targeting it. Mm, yeah. Well, dragons are dumb. Who cares? They're not dumb. Dragons act with purpose. You folks. We're doing something terrible in that place, and nobody believes me! Whatever you're hiding, I will show the world. Alright. Um, something that angered the dragons? Huh. You seem like reasonable folk. At least let me show you the place. Mm. <clears throat> um, we can't do that. We have a job to do. Here, let me give you this. 50 coins. <laughs> Are, are you trying to bribe us? We're silver tamers. This is not going to work. How about this? <laughs> There's 50 more coins. Oh my god. <clears throat> Dude, stop wasting your money. And stop taking his money, Leon. Uh, how, how about this? Hey. Fine, you can show us the building. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. I'm Leo, by the way. This motherfucker You're trying to steal my name. You probably heard Coco call me Leon, and he's like, I'll be cool, and steal half of his name. Or, or three quarters at that point. As soon as we reach the Drake Isles, I'll guide you. You won't regret this. I already do. <laughs> Alright, do we need to do anything else? Can we just leave? Oh, hey. We can leave the airship by exiting down there. Dope. Bye. I guess we could check this. Oh, we, we already did that, right? That was the last one we checked. <clears throat> Alright, get the fuck out of here. We could probably jump on the airship anyway. Whoa, what is this? Fucking Candyland? This is a pretty ass town. <clears throat> Look at all the fanciness. Hmm. Fancy. What if this is <clears throat> the Drake Isles? Alright, dope. 
So is this their town? Does this count as the town encounter? <clears throat> I don't know. We'll have to wander around for a minute and figure it out. <clears throat> wow, this is... So this is the Drank Isles. I heard about a village that specializes in catching dragons. We could learn a thing or two from them. We could. But will we? Probably not. Alright, let's just, uh... Let's just wander around for a moment. And see... <clears throat> oh, that kid's right there. Okay, I guess we'll do this. <clears throat> the village is all the way to the north. The the, the the laboratory happens to be right in the middle. If we're lucky, Eurus. Eurus? Eurus won't be guarding the entrance. Eurus? That's. <clears throat> Eurus? That's Lenny's tyrant, right? Yep, the tyrant of the wind is super strong. Come on, hurry up! Zippy doo doo da. Ooh, I did. Zippy doo doo da. Okay. I wanna peep, 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 peep. <clears throat> Let's peep. Let's peep. <clears throat> oh shit. I just now realized what time it was. Alright. <clears throat> um, as much as I wanted to get an encounter, realistically. Oh, oh, well. I wanna say realistically. Oh, damn. <clears throat> Diddy is right here. I don't remember her voice. We'll have to change it, probably. Hello, friends, and welcome to the Drake Isles. Also, you're being followed. Oh. You've got a keen eye. But it won't matter against us. We are the sword of the King of Monsters. We're gonna pause it right here, and we'll be back in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Tune in for the next one. Peace. Wow, wow, wow,